Hi everyone, it's Evangeline here at eTrailer and today we'll be taking a look at our Hollywood Racks Destination 2 like platform rack right here on our 2020 Jeep Cherokee. So the Hollywood Racks Destination is probably going to be one of the lightest bike racks that you can find that also has some pretty decent features. So definitely an upgrade from the Swagman XC2 which is even lighter but even more bare bones. Here you have a pretty cool frame design and some pretty decent height. So we'll take a look at this bike rack just to see if it's the right fit for your bicycles as well as your Jeep Cherokee. So this does have a weight capacity of 35 pounds per bike. If you have your slightly heavier bikes, you may want to go up to the Swagman Schnook. Or if you have your heavy electric bikes, you might want to consider something like the Swagman E-Spec. Now, let's talk about the way our bike is mounted to this bike rack. So we have two wheel straps, one for each wheel, and then we have our frame mount. So that frame mount is unique in its design in that you can move it however you want to move it. So if you want to go up and down or side to side as well as around, you can do so, which shows how this works with bikes of different shapes and different sizes. So to take the bike off, you start at the wheel straps. So you press this lever right over here that goes in and then you pull that strap up and then out and try to leave it to the side as much as you can, just so it doesn't get caught up in your spokes. Now we go over to the frame mount. So you're gonna have to support your bike with kind of one hand as you release this. Press that button, push that out, and now it's just a slight lift over that mast and you're ready to go on a bike ride. When your bikes are off of the bike rack, I highly recommend just putting those straps away one, because it looks nice and neat, and two, it just helps the straps stay effective a lot longer because then they're not flopping around in the wind as you drive around. And with the bike off, we get to take a closer look at the cradles. Now, we started calling these cradles the wings of the bike rack just because of the way they're shaped to accommodate your different wheel bases. Let's take a closer look at this one right here. Notice how it's shaped so it's angled downwards. The maximum tire width you can fit on here is, well, you can fit your small tires and your wider tires of up to three inches. You have this strap over here, which can move for those different wheel bases. It also has that cushion on top just to give you some extra strength as well as to prevent those scuffs and scratches. Now with anything mounted to your hitch, there's gonna be some like that into the back of your vehicle. So we're gonna take some measurements just to see exactly how much. Measuring from our bumper right there to the furthest point, which is gonna be by these white reflectors. It sits at 22 and three quarter inches. So a pretty compact bike rack. Now, whenever you're backing into your garage or trying to park into a tight spot, though, please remember that measurement and don't forget that you have both a bike rack and bikes behind you. Now let's take a look at ground clearance. So I'm gonna take three different measurements. The first is gonna be here at the center and the furthest point of our bike rack, that's 19 inches. Now at the end of the wings, it sits at about 14 and a half inches. And right where our shank is, it sits at about 10 and 3 quarter inches. So ground clearance is important whenever you go up your steep inclines, like your driveways or your hills, just because your front will go up, your back will go down. And since your hitch is kind of low on the Jeep Cherokee, you'll want pretty much any hitch accessory that has a shank rise. So that's what this is. It rises up a little bit so that your bike sit higher up off the ground. Now, if you're not planning on taking your bike set out, what you can do is fold the bike rack up just to make it a little bit more compact. This is also going to be the position you'll have it when you store it in your garage. And it's also small enough that you can even store it in your trunk. So what we're going to do is we have this knob over here. Just rotate that knob just enough to loosen this stand. And don't forget to tighten that back down. Once that's tightened down, you can then swing this entire mast down. And what I like to do is I like to secure it here with the wheel strap, just to keep that mast in place. So now we're gonna fold it up by using this clip 
and this bolt. So there's gonna be a knob at the end of this. So just rotate that until it pops out right there and you can let that hang. This now folds up and that knob that you just took out earlier, that goes right back in and secures it. So taking some measurements again, especially with it in the compact position, the closest point is now gonna be kind of by where your cradles are to the bumper. You have about three inches of clearance there. So plenty of clearance. Now the length added to the back of our vehicle, again from the bumper to the furthest point is now gonna be about 11 inches. Now let's talk about how you can live with this bike rack behind your vehicle, especially in the compact or the portable position. Notice with it folded up how our rear window is obviously completely visible. Our taillights are visible, but so are our license plate and our backup camera, which is great because as you drive along with your bikes off and this folded up, it's really nice to see that your backup camera won't be impeded. You'll be able to see everything behind you. You'll stay illegal on the road. And let's take a look at this. You can even open up your hatch with it folded up. Now this has an inch and a quarter shank that fits into our hitch with a two inch hitch adapter. This is included with your bike rack and it fits into the two inch hitch receiver that we have on our Jeep Cherokee. We also have an anti-rattle bolt and a lock. That lock is used with the cable lock with your bike rack. You can use the tools that this comes with or you can do what I do and I use a ratchet wrench with a three quarter inch socket. Makes it so much easier to tighten that anti-rattle bolt down. Just to put that anti-rattle bolt to the test, I'm gonna shake our bike rack and notice how I'm really just moving the vehicle here because even with that two inch hitch adapter inside, some people are worried it creates too much space between the actual shank. You can see here how we have a really good tight and secure fit, making for a smoother ride for your bikes overall. So my personal thoughts about this bike rack is if you're looking for something super lightweight and compact, this is what I would use. This is something that I can store inside of my trunk or in my garage and it's so light that I can carry it with one hand, which is very impressive for a bike rack. If you're looking for something that's also compact but has a little bit more weight capacity, the Swagman Schnook is a very good option as well. It is a little bit heavier though, but still has its own different pros and cons. Now, for this bike rack too, if you want something that's even more affordable, the Swagman XC2 might be an option for you, but it's even more bare bones and doesn't have the cool features like the locks and the different straps. So you have your pros, you have your cons. Hopefully this video helped you out with figuring out if this is the right fit for you, your own bikes at home, and your Jeep Cherokee. But this was a look at the Hollywood Racks Destination 2 bike rack on our 2020 Jeep Cherokee. My name is Evangeline and I hope you enjoyed the journey.